active listening and active reading. Have you heard of active listening before? The expression active listening is used in three main fields, counseling and training, business, and conflict resolution. In other words, situations where it is extremely important for the listener to fully hear what other speakers are saying. Traditionally, techniques for active listening have been developed for speaking contexts. However, most of them can be applied to our situation. That is, we can use active listening techniques even when we are communicating through written discussion boards. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. This video presents seven techniques of active listening that you can apply in our online discussion boards as well as in other contexts in your life. Number one, use your full attention to read the posts. When reading, make sure you are not distracted. This includes not listening to the radio, not watching television, and not having other conversations. Try to be fully present when you are reading. Clear your mind and try not to think about other things. If you are having a difficult time concentrating, try reading out loud. Number two, reflect before responding. Being an active listener requires self-awareness. Before you respond to what someone has written, reflect. Think about your immediate reactions. What judgments are you making? Are your reactions going to be helpful for the other person you are responding to? Is it something that needs to be said? Will your response bring greater awareness to the person that posted? Before offering feedback, perhaps clarify the post. Number three, make sure you understood what the other person wrote. Sometimes it is necessary to be careful how you express what you want to say. This may be because you are not sure if you have completely understood what the other person is saying or if you are worried that the other person may not be receptive to what you want to say. If it is necessary to clarify what the person has written, try asking questions. For example, are you saying that I'm not certain I understand. Do you mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Sometimes it is also appropriate to restate or summarize what you read in your own words. You can introduce your restating or summary of what the other person wrote with these expressions. Let me see if I'm clear about this. So it sounds to me as if... Let me see if I understand. You... If it seems like an emotional topic, you might want to try... This is what I think I hear you saying. You appear to be feeling... Is there a chance that you, or it seems that you 